Evening guys, welcome back to my channel. So, uh, me and my wife have recently bought some uh, push bikes so we can go out with my son. Um, and I wanted to buy a, a pannier rack for the back. So the idea is to get a, a bag that fits on it so we can take sandwiches and drinks, etc. So, um, I picked it up tonight, um, the, uh, the pannier rack and the bag that goes on top of it. So I'm going to be putting it onto my push bike tonight. Um, the bike I bought is a Carrara Crossfire, um, which is a hybrid um, mountain bike stroke road bike. Um, I'm not going to be doing a lot of off-road stuff, um, so I didn't want anything with too much of chunky tires. Um, it obviously creates drag when you're on road surface and stuff. So the pannier rack that I bought is the uh, Topeak Super Tourist DX um, and it's for the disc brake bike. Um, it's slightly different to the non-disc brake um, version. Um, it's got sort of two little lugs which you'll see in a minute. Um, in fact, here we go. So this is the um, Topeak Super Tourist DX disc brake version. Um, and then the disc brake version is it's got these little sort of lugs that stick out past the disc brakes. Um, the bag I bought for it um, is a, a, a Topeak bag, uh, it's a pannier bag, so these unzip and fold out into uh, sort of pannier uh, bags, and then that will slides on and clicks in. Um, I will do a separate review on that, um, but tonight I'm going to concentrate on this. So um, keep watching and we'll get this fitted. Okay guys, um, so this is what came in, in the, the fixing kit. So you have um, a couple of mountain uh, bracket arms, um, stainless steel nuts and bolts and washers, and the nuts are locking ones. Um, yeah, the nuts are locking ones, and then the bolts are um, Allen key head. And then also, this is a, an additional um, light mounting bracket which can fit on the back of um, of the pannier rack there. I probably won't use that, um, but it's, it's nice to have. So I'm going to get it on. To the fitting kit, um, this is all you will need to fit the actual um, pannier rack to the bike. Uh, two Allen keys, two separate size Allen keys. Uh, the bigger one is for the nuts and bolts that came with the rack, and the small one is I'll show you. Um, so where it bolts onto, you've got the uh, mounting bracket arm that comes from the pannier racket um, to these fixing points. Now these were already on my bike. Um, I don't know, you know, if all bikes are the same and have the same um, system. Um, if not, there will be some other way to attach it. So, um, so there's two possible uh, fixing points right here and here. Um, I'm going to go for this lower one uh, just so the rack sits a little bit lower. So it will sit sort of there. So I'm going to um, start to uh, put the bolts through here and then come back to you once I've um, loosely fitted it. You can see um, the, the rack is kind of on. Um, all I've done is put a bolt in there and a bolt on the other side. Um, as you can see it's loose. I'm not going to tighten anything up because I need to get these um, support arms in so it gets bolted onto here 
and then it gets bolted onto here. So with them, they suggest to bolt that on and then bend the bracket into um, whatever position you want. So I'm going to get them on now and then um, we'll have a look at bending the bracket into position. These um, mounting brackets are obviously very loosely um, fitted on and then they will come up, line up with these holes and then you bend it um, you tighten the bolts and bend the bracket up to secure so I'm going to do that and then come back to you so as you can see the bracket um, has bent into position. I still need to tighten those up. Um, regarding tightening them up, I said that the, the only tools that you would need is uh, um, the Allen keys, but you actually do need a, an eight mil spanner to hold the bolt under there while you're tightening the, uh, the bolt with the allen key on top of there. Um, again, don't tighten everything up too um, tight at first because what I'm going to actually do is get a level on there. As you can see, it's not quite level yet. So because we haven't uh, tightened it too much, we can do some um, adjustments to make it level too much. So we're a little bit more. We're not bad there, we're not bad. So um, now that's on there, I'm gonna get the other bracket on and tighten it all up. So that's both brackets on, the four um, bolts onto that bolt and the locking nuts underneath. So all that's left to do is to tighten these bolts up in here and that's it, secured. So the disc brakes. So this um, little protruding piece on the rack um, is to hold away from the disc brakes. I presume the non-disc brake version um, maybe sits in closer or I, I don't know really but um, that's that's what it's for to, to stop it getting too close to the disc brakes. Folks, the um, Topeak uh, Pannier rack for disc brake, the disc brake version. So you've got um, some holes here and that is for the um, light mounting bracket which also comes with it um, and I presume it fits most standard lights um, um, in terms of installation um, it was very very easy um, 10 out of 10 for a product it's very well made the brackets um, I was a bit apprehensive about bending but they just uh, bent pretty much automatically um, so that was easy um, I did use 
WD-40 on all the bolts uh, just for a bit of peace of mind. Um, so this Topic bag now will slide on onto the uh, rack. It's got like a rail rail system. Um, yeah, and the bottom of the bag has got this plastic kind of angled. Um, a runner down the centre, which then in turn, excuse my camera work, trying to do a one handed, um, which then slots in. And you got it. There we go. So, there we go, that's a bit better. So it slots in, and then should just slide on the rail and then click into place. Now to release the bag you push that down, push the back bag uh, bag back and then slide it off the rail. And there you have the pannier bag on the bike. So this one um, is actually then in turn fold out into um, additional storage and then these loops elasticated loops loop over there and then you adjust the toggle to tighten it up to the side now we'll do um, a full review on the um, on the bag um, because it's a fantastic piece of kit. Um, we've got one of these on either side and a bottle holder and some additional things, but um, I will do an additional review on that. It's um, me fitting a, a Topeak Super Taurus DX um, pannier rack to my um, Carrera Crossfire uh, hybrid bike. Um, thanks so much for watching. Um, watch the next video um, for the full review of the um, pannier bag that, that sits inside the rack. Um, all, in all in all, I think it took less than half an hour to fit. Um, by the time you sort of get the bits and bobs out, work it out, um, find your spanners you know so um, yeah less than half an hour 10 out of 10 for the um, the fitting the instructions um, super easy um, and I would highly recommend it so thanks for watching and uh, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll be on the bike soon um, bringing, bringing some more uh, videos okay thanks very much bye bye